The eighth crucial ingredient is protecting our environment, which means the wetlands, the forests, the rivers, the lakes, and the water towers in the form of our high mountains of the Renzori, the Elegon, the Shijezi Mountains, the Goro Hills, and the hills of Singo, Kochi, Buweju, Bunyarguru, Rwampara, Rahama, etc. Why do we need to protect these environmental assets? It is because they provide us with three of the most primary life savers. These are air, water, and food. You cannot live without air for three minutes. If you don't breathe three minutes, you are dead. Three minutes. You cannot live without water for three days. And you cannot live without food for eight days. These environmental assets are responsible for our plentiful rainfall and water. As long as our rainfall is maintained and our water supply is maintained, we shall always be sure of food, including food supported by irrigation. We shall always be sure of water for drinking and other forms of human personal use, e.g. bathing, etc. Factories need water. Those in the wetlands must therefore leave the wetlands peacefully, persuaded by this unimpeachable logic of our survival. Sina kujia kurana namwe abali muntobaz. Amaz maga no okte gerovu kuru wenso ngeno kuru wano mchua ndiko kwe kuba 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 laga nti muwe muntobaz. Leave the wetlands because of the logic here, here, here. Because those environmental bodies, the forests, the lakes, the wetlands, the mountains, you hear they are responsible for three things, for air, water, and food. In other words, for survival. In other areas, we are talking of, of gaga, wealth, and so on. But here, it is survival. That's what we are talking about. Those in the wetlands must leave them peacefully, persuaded by this unimpeachable logic of our survival. The ones in the Bukhed of Soga and Chijaz areas will be assisted to shift from the wetland rice growing to either growing that rice by irrigation on the non-wetland on the non-wetland land of Takovukalu or to fish farming at the edges of the wetlands, allowing the rest of the wetlands to regenerate. Those who have been crossed on wetlands in other areas must live unconditionally because they went there knowing it was a mistake. The ones of Busoga, Bukede, and Chiyez were misled by the governments of that time, such as Chibimba Rice Scheme. That's why we shall assist them to get out. But the other ones, in the other areas, they must go unconditionally. They must leave. And I'm, I'm going to write an executive order. It will be detailed. Anybody who does not implement it will be answerable. The, the local chiefs, because those wetlands which are being encroached on, they belong to a parish. What is the parish chief doing? They are not on, on the moon. Uh, a wetland which is being encroached on is in a parish. A parish has got a parish chief. I will release that one. That wetland is in a sub-county. 
Kuhogo, what, what is the subcounty Jifu doing? How about Iso? Jiso, there's a, a Jiso there. What, what, what are they doing? There is a cow, a cow in the district. There is another DC. So, so, so please, I'm going to issue a detailed executive order. People must leave, the, the wetlands must leave the forest and the river banks. Two hundred meters from the lake shore must be allowed to regenerate into forest or waterline shrubbery, which we the indigenous people of this area know well. We know we know the bush bushes which grow near the water. Emenava Mbobo ETC. See if you leave these bushes will grow. If you see uh, on the way to Entebbe, that Kituburu, I think they call it Kituburu, N near, near the water now there is swamp grass there. Uh, on the left as you, you go to Entebbe. You can see swamp grass, Ebigugu, Cyperas latifolia. You, you can see it clear on the left. So if you leave the place, the, 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 the swamp, swamp bush and grass will grow. 100 meters from the river banks must be similarly vacated. It is only the factories that are already built in what used to be wetlands that will be kept. Because the factories are very expensive and we need them. But no new ones, no new factories must be built or licensed to be built in wetlands. Even those that were erroneously licensed by UIA, but where the construction had not yet started, should be allocated alternative land. The environmental authorities may permit well-organized residential houses and hotels near the lake shore of the river banks, which observe environmental rules, e.g. planting grass and trees so that there are no bare patches of soil from which the omkoka, the mtunga, the runoff water, would pick soil to silt the water bodies. There should be no cultivation or slums near the water bodies. However, residential houses built in the wetlands must be demolished. Water is not only important for, for air, life support and food generation, but also enables us to generate electricity, hydroelectricity. As far as the rivers are concerned, Uganda is both a downstream and an upstream country. These, these words mean downstream means where the rivers are going. Upstream is where the rivers are coming from. So Uganda is both. It is both uh, an upstream. There are rivers which start here, but also it is a downstream because there are, there are rivers which come here from other African countries. According to our, our water people, 14 billion cubic meters of water per year that Uganda gets come from rivers, uh, the, the, comes from rivers that originate from Uganda while 29 cubic, billion cubic meters of water comes from rivers that we share with other sister countries. Given the political fragmentation that we, we, are trying, we try to heal by regional integration, we cannot always guarantee the proper management of the rivers and their catchment areas 
that spring from the brother countries vis-a-vis -vis soil erosion, certain ETC. However, we should set a good example by correctly managing the water bodies within our jurisdiction. We will then have the moral authority to approach the brother African countries about the shared rivers. I therefore demand that all these encroaching on the wetlands in the manner mentioned above vacate those sites as laid out above. The rivers like Ruizi, Mpanga, Mayanja, Kafu, Aswa, Agago, Mporogoma, Mubuku, and their tributary wetlands must be fully protected from those uninformed encroachers.